Who remembers this? Now everybody hates that bitch Carol Baskin. What about this? They found pilots from the valleys at 3 a.m. I filmed those two songs on a $150 phone from Walmart. I did it on a back porch because I was living in a shed at the time. They racked up millions of views and that was my introduction to social media. So I went to Nashville and started working. I live my country and that's just part of me. And working. The only thing I want to hear is the sound of them crickets. And working. Oh, I need a hit. Give me some. Love your sweet love. And working some more. If you ain't careful, time will fly. It'll pass right by. Shit, I even got up with old Bubba Sparks and Country Five Miss New Booty. Let's go. Take it back one more time. Okay. Yeah, see, I know about the booties from going up in the boonies where them daisy do cuties make your boots good and boogie. I was having a great time and doing a lot of great things, but it was no secret that I had a major drinking problem. Like, look, here's me falling off the stage. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> Everybody was laughing there, but they didn't realize that I was waking up drinking one or two or two drinks and nothing but alcohol for the rest of the day, every single day. Last year, I got married to the love of my life, and seven months ago, I quit drinking cold turkey. Two days after I quit drinking, we found out she was pregnant. Then I sat down and wrote a song called Take Me Back to the 90s. And y'all took that song to number seven on the iTunes charts. It became my first single to be played nationwide on the radio. But before I quit drinking, I sat down with a couple friends of mine and wrote a song about my struggles with alcoholism. I'll be whiskey, don't. I'm releasing that song tomorrow, February 29th. This is going to be my last single I release before my daughter's born. Take me back to the 90s, went to number seven. I know we can run this one up. Here's to seven months without a drink. That money proof feels like a 45 pressed on my lips.